Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon. The buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st. Sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon, um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time a special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the sun is like the father, the masculine energy. The moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn sun. I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn moon and Cancer sun. It's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something, something amazing for us. And of course, our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways. And so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful, more calming, more abundant for everyone. And so please keep in mind at all times, of course, to keep our energies and our positivity as high, our vibes as high as we can. But this perhaps is a very significant Time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the Sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now, concentrating on now to manifest. Okay, so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life. She's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. The mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be, and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea, creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance. Every full moon period 
every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks, in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six month period. Today, or at this time, we're working with Capricorn moon, which is full because it's opposite of the sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that, of the intentions that you set in it and the full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is, this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin a wallet or your bank card put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up give you more energy give your money more energy more power this is a Capricorn moon. It's about, it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or, or some op, uh, organization some of your money, time, energy, and whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself uh, through her phases symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone 
and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional and so uh, women like to gather uh, to share to laugh love dance sing um, create things art music it's a beautiful time for that and as I said before we are in the Capricorn moon this is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong worth, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might ha feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness those born under the Capricorn moon you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly they need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant they feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks the Capricorns are the workhorses um, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no, but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Uh, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon. So every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of Cancer season. And this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time, because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close 
to that to Leo season. And that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions, our mother and our father coming together, our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time. Okay. It's 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 very exciting to me. Um it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare. It's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of Capricorn energy. Okay, so we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon, and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn sun onto the moon, and so it's a supercharged full moon. Every full moon is a very powerful time, but the blue moon is extremely powerful. It's supercharged. It gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon. So don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic. Now, as I was saying, generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began, what began six months ago. But that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now. We're going to talk about that when we get into our reading, okay? And so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention. And because the power, the, the full moon is so powerful, it is possible that during this moment, your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true, those could be, this could be this magic moment that you need to, to create the miracle, to, to feel that miracle, to actually witness something rare to take place for you. And so, let me um, explain. Um, this is a positive sign, this, um, this blue moon. is If you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe, whatever you were asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. It is important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen, then guess what? It won't happen. So just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams. Okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay. So I want to thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm going to have a special reading for you to, um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. Hello Capricorn. Here we are again. I'm about to finally get these uh, readings for you done. So um, I just want to say uh, congratulations for this full moon in your sign. This is pretty cool, pretty exciting time. It's going to impact the whole world. It's going to impact all of us. It might impact, impact you even more. Um, it's, um, it's a very strong energy. It's a very rare blue moon that we have going on here. It's going to uh, bring about some pretty profound changes. Uh, you know, you'll be seeing all around you, I'm, I'm pretty sure. We're, we're, you know, the world is changing so fast and everything and the energies are just getting just uh, more and more um, intense as we go, it seems like. But for today, we're going to do a full moon spread. We're going to look at uh, where, how far you've come since the new moon in Capricorn, which was six months ago. And we're going to uh, look at where you are now, what you might need to be aware of, as well as looking at uh, some things that you might be wanting to 
consider to release at this time. Uh, it's important to release things that bring make room for something better to come into our lives. So the full moon is a very good time for doing that. And um, I want to go ahead and uh, let you know too that I'm uh, putting out the in invitation to my viewers to um, take a look at the introduction that you um, that you have the ability to skip. <laughs> and um, if you uh, check out that uh, table spread with the crystals on it, uh, realize I have six different crystals on that table. And what I'm asking my viewers is if they can guess properly the six uh, crystals that I will send them a free crystal from me. And if by chance no one is able to um, find out what they are or, or guess what they are correctly, then what I will do is the persons um, who get it the cl most, the closest will uh, receive a free crystal from me. And uh, so if you want to participate in that, please, uh, by all means, make uh, add your put your, uh, your guesstimation there on the comments, and I will give you the hint. Um, it has to do with your sign of Capricorn and the sign of Cancer, um, and with that being said, I guess we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start this spread for you, Capricorn. Okay, Spirit, thank you very much. Please uh, show us what Capricorn needs to know right now for their highest good. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. The first card here is in a position to explain what have you created since the new moon. Okay. Since back in um, February, I mean January of this year. And we have here the Four of Cups. So this is um, this is the explaining the growth um, or the changes that you've you've been going through since then, and the Four of Cups. Um, it looks like it's a person like spirits trying to give this person a gift um, of some kind, a, a a cup, something that's going to make um, something that's lovable. And something that is um, pleasant for the um, for this person here, um, but they can't see it, or they don't want to see it, or they're too focused on these, or you know, lots of different things going on here, possibly. But we're going to get clarifiers for everything, so we're going to understand more about this later. It could it could be a, a few things. Um, where are are you now, Capricorn? It looks like you're at some point of victory here, some point of uh, success and stability and, um, you know, a, a happy home life, um, a celebration, um, a portal. So the Four of Wands here is uh, indicating where you are right now. And then we have here the um, position of what are you needing to become aware of at this time. And here we have the four of pentacles. Oh my goodness, look at this. Four, four, four. That is pretty wild. Okay, so I can't wait to see what the clarification is on this because we have, okay, it looks like here, first of all, it looks like you're secure and stable and happy or satisfied, but a little bit bored. A little bit unsatisfied and holding on real tight to what you have afraid to take a risk um this is this is kind of wild i think four 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 you this, this is just just pretty wild here um what we're missing is the four of swords um the four of swords might be um something that you need to let me look at i'm going to look it up very old tarot book. Uh, it has some information about when you have multiples 
of something and I want to just see what four fours mean in a reading. Uh, if it does tell me four fours, three fours is disquiet. Okay, disquiet reversed. Let me try the other four fours. Oh, in natural position. Four fours in a natural position. Okay. Um, three fours is a subject of reflection. Okay, so this looks like something to be, to, you need to think about, okay, because this is a kind of a profound uh, reading already just with the four, four, four right on top uh, my, of all this. All, they're all minor arcanas. Something to be reflected upon right here. Um, it looks like you have you have some sad. Okay, it, what I'm feeling here is you're feeling stable and satisfied, or you have a, a level of satisfaction, a level of security, a level of stability that you can be reasonably happy with. But it's not something about this um, growth that you've experienced and something about this new life that you're going to feel, this new shift that you're going to, you're just about on to, to feel strongly is that you're feeling that maybe these, this life isn't quite enough. You're bored with it. You're looking for something better, something more satisfying, more uh, something that you know you you know you can you can have it's something out there for you and the lucky thing about this too is that spirit is trying to give that to you it's trying to pass something to you um, and we're going to find out more about how that's going to happen so I'm going to get some clarifier cards here on this row right fast before we do the bottom about releasing uh, yeah, let's clarify these. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. This one came out first. I want to assume it goes here. All right. So the, the Four of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Cups. Yes, that's right. Everything you've planned for has worked out. And with the Ten of Cups, you would have the wish fulfillment. You have um, a dream come true. All your dreams are coming true or have come true. Um, you have a sense of prosperity and like the, the happily ever after. You have children and a joyful family and prosperous um, place of your own here. This is in a city. There's people here. Uh, this is in a city, but this looks like a place of your own. Um, there's a sense of belonging, happiness, lasting success, like, like a legacy, feeling blessed, contentment, and, um, uh, family. Okay. So that does, kind of lean so far it's still leaning towards this idea that you know you've got you've got some pretty good stability going on you've got some happiness you've got some you know some good things happening but it, you're just not feeling like you know you're the capricorn you want more you want to get higher and higher and higher you want to achieve more you have more ambition than this than this mediocre ordinary satisfying life you know, um, there's something more you want. And uh, I think we're going to help. We're going to find out how to get you there somehow or another. Um, where are you now? Let's see what we have clarifying here with the emperor. Another four. Oh, my goodness. This this cannot be beat. Ooh. The emperor, you own your own space with confidence. This is where you are now. Capricorn, this is your energy. The Emperor, you are in the, the energy of the Divine Masculine. Okay. Um, 
you have a you 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 work hard but you're calm and in control you are the boss you own your own space with confidence there we are again you own this place all your own um ambition control structure this this is uh represents aries but it sounds so capricorn right now the the divine master the structure the control the ambition the victory the conquest this this is also appealing to capricorn absolutely four again another four a completion four 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 completion four and we have the four of pentacles clarified by the by judgment okay judgment is answering the call to action creates a new opportunity so this this is going to this is in the position of what are you becoming aware of okay so this is pretty interesting so the uh you're becoming aware that if you if you let go of some of your hoard some of your uh security your pentacles that you've built up and structured up and created a um, a prosperous or a you know a level of security with um you're realizing there's a realization there is a reckoning and a, a, an awakening awakening and a purpose that you're seeing now that if you if you answer the call to action if you answer the call to invest in something or take a leap of faith or um, step out of your comfort zone that there's going to be there's there's an action if you call if you st answer that call to action it will create a new opportunity a purpose a rejuvenation if you will so this is what you have before you or is coming right before you this is what you need to be aware of capricorn what we have here is th this your inner self this part that you uh, have achieved to this this divine masculine archetype that you are embodying is craving to to achieve more and you're not satisfied with the with this this the, the fours anymore you want the tens and the um you want the world you know <laughs> so let's just uh take keep that in mind while we're looking at what we need to release and by releasing whatever it is that we need to release what spirit says we release will help you to move forward to step out of the comfort zone out of the fours and into the next level okay capricorn this is pretty exciting i'm excited about this so let's look at the um bottom row which is about release and so the first card is what is it time for me to surrender oh wow we have the three of cups here okay surrender hmm surrender to the joy you need more joy in your life you need to surrender to feeling enjoying your life capricorn don't take life so seriously surrender to the call to come together with others join in a, in a group be happy be joyful celebrate your life um be be enthralled and in love you know have you know, enjoy the beautiful, wonderful riches in your life. You know, this is what you're being called to do. So you need to surrender the strictness and the um, um, the overly disciplined, over controlled, uh, too serious about life kind of thing, uh, disciplinarian to others, things like that. And that's what I'm feeling here. We're going to get clarifiers on that as well. Um, this is how can you let go of what is no longer for you how can you let go of that 
what's it going to take? Hmm. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Everybody's getting Wheel of Fortune now. Wheel of Fortune. All right, so Wheel of Fortune. This this is changing. This this cycle, this old cycle that where you reached the pinnacle of four level, this old cycle is spinning and changing over to something new. So your vibrations, your mood, your um, your lightness or your heaviness is going to determine how the next cycle goes. Whether you have to work super hard or whether you have, you know, things just falling in your lap, everything you want, this is determined by your vibrations. That's what that snake's there for, is to indicate the vibrations how are having an effect here. You need to make sure your vibrations are high. And in order to do that, you need to have some fun. That's all there is to it. You have to enjoy your life. You have to give your higher self something to be happy about. You know, um, your spirit guides and your angels, they are wanting you to enjoy your life because that helps them too. That help that gives them pleasure too, right? So, for them, to, for you to do that will wake them up and bring them right in, and they are they're ready to come in at this portal. This portal, this four of wands, as is, is a portal. This full moon in Capricorn right now is a portal. The will of fortune, Jupiter, is is a, a portal. You are. You are called to take notice of this right now, Capricorn. What resources do you have to support you in all these changes? That's what we're going to see here. Okay, you have the Six of Cups. This is just wild. This is just wild. So, so many cups. This is your um, your childhood dreams. It's uh, protection by spirit. It's love, beauty, gifts, giving and taking and sharing with one another. It's nostalgia. It's thinking back to um, happier times. It's helping you to lighten up. More, more advice here for you to have fun, lighten up, be happy, raise your vibration, you know, Start this new cycle on the right foot. Express your your love and your compassion and and your your joy. You know, show show a smile on your face. These are the things that Capricorn needs right now to ch to shift to level up from the boring, satisfying but secure four level and on up to greater achievements more manifestation, more abundance, better, more, a better reputation, um, all of that, your ambition can be fed to its heart's desire because you have this, this, you've gotten to this emperor, um, status. Somehow you've, you've achieved that, but the emperor is not, um, you know, he, he's structured and he's the king of kings in a way. He's the divine masculine. He, he embodies all the kings. So he embodies the love of the king of cups and the kindness. He embodies the thoughtfulness and the logic of the, the king of uh, swords. He embodies the passion and the drive and the ambition of the king of wands. And he, what, what am I missing? The pinnacles, the king of pinnacles. He's the stable, the stability. He has that as well, the King of Pentacles. He is all kings wrapped up in one, and that's what you are at this time. This is this is the position of where you, what you are now, who you are right now. Okay, so you have the ability to manifest, to bring about, to lead, to take charge, um, but you have to do it the way the good emperor would do it, with kindness, with love with compassion, with control of himself. So, you know, this is what you need to 
to think about right now Capricorn I'm very excited for you let's go ahead and go ahead and get some clarifiers over here although it seems pretty clear to me what this is all about I'm going to go ahead and clarify these just a little more okay what a powerful reading wow it's it's a very appropriate Capricorn moon Capricorn blue moon oh just just amazing it always amazes me when spirit gives us such profound information wow okay one two three here we go okay so your your three of cups here your your surrendering you should surrender to um your desire for for joy okay and also it's qual it's uh clarified by the king of wands and the king of wands says to use the dynamic energy of a leader um the king of wands is a visionary he is strong and powerful courage he has leadership and courage and so So what you'd want to release from him for, from here is the opposite of that. I would say release the severity, the cruelty, the austerity, being too afraid to spend money, being opinionated and ruthless. Um, if, if any of those things are in your personality, those are the things that you want to release. Those are the things you want to, that, those are the things bringing you down. Those are the things causing, causing you to feel um, dissatisfied apathetic um feel maybe guilty or angry or cold towards others this is you want to embody the king of wands the emperor and be a visionary go ahead and be successful expand uh, your your domain expansion expand your ideas uh to be tolerant of all people um use your power for good be a leader for good be a compassionate leader and a passionate leader in other words passionate for your own uh, achievements and your own inspirations okay creative be creative have courage have courage to break out of the mold have courage to to go forward and, and to try new things okay all right, and the next card that clarifies the will of fortune, uh, explaining how to let go, uh, is the high priestess. Um, so here we have change. This is indicates change, um, awareness, and of course intuition, wisdom, the moon. So this is the moon is is guiding you right now and and she represents the moon as well. And the message on this card is to trust your own counsel first, use your own to intuition as to what is right and wrong for you, what is going to raise your vibration, what is going to make the change that you want to see. Okay? And for the 6 of cups talking about resources that are available to you that's clarified by the queen of wands oh my gosh no way look at this counterparts king and queen of wands here it's, it's just so wild because we don't use that many cards okay <laughs> and we have the king and queen of wands here the queen of wands of course is um confident uh magnetic attractive warm passionate enthusiastic determined she's a steady force and she's independent she does things her own way um so this is like family here too you have you have family here you have family in the ten of cups you have your perfect family situation here you have um a king and queen of wands counterparts going working a couple working together a power couple working together to 
um, to, you know, ignite their passions, to, to go for what they want. You have children here in this situation and nostalgia here. Um, this is, these are your resources here. You may be the emperor and the king of wands, but your resources are your people, your friends, your family, your, your children, your spouse, um, yourself, your high, your higher self, your intuition. All of these things are helping you, giving you this, this realization now. Um, and also I want to add, you've got one, two, three, four major arcanas here. This is a very auspicious time for you right now, Capricorn. You are, you're blowing me away right now with this reading. Okay, I'm very excited for you. Okay, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put this away. I hope you got the information that was meant to come to you for this. I think, I think we covered it pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next part, which actually I meant to give you these spirit animal. Let's do these um, spirit animals to further explain or advise us on how to um, how to uh, make the changes we need. Okay, the first one is snake transformation. You will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind and you are at the center of it all as the catalyst. To smoothen the process, make sure that your intentions are clear and that you move forward with hope. Okay? Capricorn is so important. Don't give up on your hope. Find hope in yourself. Bring it up. You know, meditate on it. Hold on to your hope. For, that, for this future, make your clear intentions. Um, something bigger and better is, is coming for you in this new cycle. You're transforming. Just like in the judgment card, you're, you're reawakening. Something bigger and better. Dog, loyalty. You may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of the work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. Okay. Um, so. Mm, well, I get the fact that you do deserve better and that other people um, may not be showing their loyalty. Um but, you know, you can be loyal for it, for sure. Um, if other people let you down or not doing their fair share of the work, you know, you can let them know. You can be the leader and the compassionate leader. Just, you know, um, say what you have on your mind, but be fair and kind about it, okay? Always be optimistic because if, what, if you give back, if you give out some kind of cruelty, or some kind of, um, you know, demeaning talk to other people, then that that's going to come right back to you somehow. And that's going to affect you. And that's going to affect your vibration. And that's going to, you know, mess you up. So, I mean, nothing's going to mess you up permanently. No, not one thing. But if you just keep in that cycle of, um, you know, put putting out uh, disappointment, putting out, uh, anger and hatred and, and cruelty, all of that's going to continue to circle right back, circle right back, circle right back. And you're in a, you're in a profound moment right now of change and of a, a major change. So you don't, you want to keep those vibrations light. You know, you want to be happy. You want to find things to make you happy. You want to be optimistic. You want to be forgiving. You need to be forgiving of other people, you know, tolerant, being tolerant of others. The next one is Jaguar growth. Maturity is the ability to embrace change. And change cannot happen without death. This death does not necessarily mean physical death, but could be the ending of a relationship, a situation, or simply your decision to not continue with the same old habits. 
and that goes along with this transformation and it goes along with what i've been saying about your vibrations you know uh and about this this judgment is like dying the old you is dying and coming back to life in a new way uh realizing that um you know your old habits of being stuck your old habits of being of feeling disappointed and depressed your old habits of you know not joining the party not having fun being too serious those are the things that that are are pulling um are stifling your growth and that's something that needs to be um corrected all right so we got one more one more little reading here to do this career oracle cards i have for you capricorn i have chosen these for the for for your full moon now i have been um using these for the the other videos and i'm considering to change this bonus reading to something other than this other than career but for today because of the Cur the capricorn full moon i'm choosing to continue with the career uh oracle because capricorns are concerned normally about their careers and we're going to go with that right now okay so for capricorn what do we have advice for concerning career and advancement okay what does capricorn have to look forward to in the area of career for capricorn for capricorn there we go all right let's see what we have here the first one that came out is wish come true your wish is being granted but it may not come in the way you expected no worries it is just what you need <laughs> okay and we have here expression you need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Okay, something to think about. And one more, we have magic. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want into your life. The sky is the limit. Okay, so Capricorn, are you going to use your magic? Are you going to use the magic of manifestation the magic of the moon cycles can help you but it's not the only way the the most important thing is to keep your vibrations high stay positive stay optimistic embrace fun and joy and good times and try to make the most make that the most of your life okay the love the beauty the family the love um, that's that's what we're looking for here all right, so that's going to do it for today, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I enjoyed giving it to you. It was a thrill. All those fours, um, the reflection that comes from that four, those fours. We had the, of course, we also had lots of cups, which is lots of love, lots of enjoyment, lots of pleasure. Okay, um, this is all for you, Capricorn. All right, so that being the end of this, I want you to consider subscribing if you can. If you haven't yet, um, I have added an end screen to the end of the video, which will make it easier for you to subscribe if you're watching on television screen, because all you'll have to do is navigate up and click on the subscribe button, and it's simple as that. Um, and uh, just want to let you know that uh, if you do subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Um, and so also your likes and your comments, they help me to keep getting better and better and better at this. I love each and every one. I appreciate each and every comment and like that I've gotten so far. And I will never take them for granted. Um, I want to thank you again for everything you do. I want to remind you again to, uh, if you want to comment on the crystals that were used in the intro, then you have a chance to win a free crystal. And... Um, so I guess that's all for now. We have coming up the Lionsgate Portal 888 this year. Very exciting stuff. So come back and check, check that out. Um, but that's it for now. Have a beautiful day, a wonderful month. I'm so happy to uh, see you again next time. Love and light.